Hi, I'm Jennifer Love. This is your weekly love connection for the week of March 4th through the 10th. Sorry, my voice is still a bit nasally. I'm getting over a cold. Um, I thought about just doing the reading like visually and typing it out, but it's actually still easier to talk through it than <laughs> do all that typing. So this week we are going to be using the Divine Masters Oracle by Kyle Gray. So let's get started. You can choose a card from one to three, or I've assigned a card for your unique situation. Card one is for folks who are in crisis, who need immediate answers and support. Card number two is if you happen to be single. And card number three is for those in relationships who just want a little guidance. So card number one is uh, Isis, and it says, uh, reclaiming magic, call back your power and what is rightfully yours. So Isis is an Egyptian goddess and all of these cards are ascended masters in some way, gods, goddesses, and ascended masters. But um, this card is about reclaiming your magic or reclaiming your power. So if you feel like there is a situation where you feel like parts of yourself may have been lost in some way. If there's like a talent or skill that someone kind of put you down for in the past. Um, example I can think of is when I was in elementary school, um, a teacher told me, you know, I was like doing some artwork in school or whatever. And a teacher said, hmm, that's not very good, but you know, you're really good at writing and math. You know, so then I took the message that, oh, I'm not a good artist. I'm, I'll never be a good artist. So I better concentrate on reading and math. And of course, I really excelled at reading and math. And I never really had much of an interest in art. And I thought I wasn't good at it. But who knows? I could have been good at it if I had applied myself, right? Or maybe I just don't have a talent for it. But anyway, that's just an example. If somebody, you feel like somebody stole your power in a certain way, um, maybe you like to sing and your parents told you, you're not good. Don't, don't worry. Don't pursue that as a career. You're not a good singer. You know, um, it doesn't mean you have to pursue it as a career, but feel free to sing. You know, you, you be your authentic self is basically the message of this card. Reclaim your power, reclaim your magic. Um, you do you and don't let anybody else tell you who you are. Card number two is Hathor, and she's also an Egyptian goddess. This says light activation, acceleration, brilliance, stand in your light. So you may have been feeling maybe stuck or blocked in some way. In a lot of ways, this reminds me of the sun card in tarot. This is just saying that success is yours. All blocks will be lifted. It's time for you to like stand in the light stand in your brilliance and move forward with whatever you've been trying to get accomplished. If you've been trying to move projects forward or um, start something new, this is the time that you'll be successful in doing that. So don't be afraid to let your light shine and um, be your authentic, brilliant self. Um, it's Hathor that is going to be activating your light at this time and allowing you to really stand in your brilliance, basically. So hopefully that message makes sense. Card number three. This is actually my favorite card in this deck. <laughs> this is Mary Magdalene. Um, this card says, Sacred Vessel, you are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. So Mary Magdalene's actually an Ascended Master that I work with quite frequently. Um, she is the Apostle to the Apostles. She's considered to be the partner to Jesus Christ, whether you believe that or not. Um, and she um, is considered to be actually quite clairvoyant. Um, but the message of this card is that you are the answer you are the 
teacher that you have been seeking. So if you have been wondering, like, what, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? You already know the answer for yourself inside. Um, I don't need to tell you. You already know. So that's the wisdom of the feminine is that your intuitive self already knows. So that's the message of this card. Also, if you have been feeling that you have wisdom to share or message to share, Mary Magdalene will help you share that message with the world. Um, and it is kind of based upon all of your life experiences, everything that you've been through can really help somebody else. You think that, you know, I'm not worthy or I'm not qualified, I'm not certified, but it really doesn't matter. All those things really don't matter. It's kind of your life experience that you're sharing and that's what matters in spiritual teaching or really any kind of teaching. But Mary Magdalene is here to tell you that you have an important message to share with the world and it's time to share it. So hopefully those messages resonate with you one or all this week. And um, if you would like a personal reading, you can always go to thejenniferlove.com and schedule that there. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.